so taxing. And so impressive to see these guys, we were talking about this yesterday, go from game to game to game to game. And right. Back in the day, that's all it was, man. You're going from right. maybe Alpha 2 to Alpha 3 in the right. same tournament, Super Turbo. Right. Yeah, Alpha 2 and 3 have like the same graphics. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can get messed up easily, but yeah. they're quite different games. And Choi and Valle are like, I'm playing Ryu. Yeah. What game is this? All right, I'll figure it out after I throw a fireball. <laughs> right, yeah. Thanks to the split frame for the support, you can see them behind us too as in the commentary booth. 20% savings with coupon code 37 reloaded. They have some nice apparel. Check them out, splitframe.net. So Justin's coming from losers, Boss from winners. We saw them play earlier. It lo was looking like it would be a 3-0 from Boss. And Justin turned it around. Now Boss took that set, but in the long view, Justin was the one that was like uh, seizing the momentum. You know? right. It was going back his way. But if this is a continuation of that set, Justin doesn't have too much to worry about. But of course, this first game is going to be important. It's going to set the tone. So it's three out of five. Justin has to win six games take this to reset things he only has to <laughs> yeah that's right only only six games only has to beat 18 characters yeah that's right only has <laughs> it only has to beat survival mode right now right it's cool three out of five two sets in cvs2 easy 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 all in a day's work justin's done it before hey there's a reason why he he's got that jersey this is literally a day's work for him <laughs> did you did you hear why he has a uh, 15, the number is 15 on the back of his jersey? No. Because he was 15 when he won his first Evo. That oh was P5. Oh my god, alright. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't have anything to say to that. No, yeah, I've been playing for 15 years and I don't have, yeah. a, I don't have an Evo yet. Exactly. So. <laughs> I got one top 8 in the game nobody plays. Go me! Yeah. That counts. That's cool. <laughs> Two frame cross jab on Chun Li in this game. Two. That's oh, one frame wow, that's sick three. tech. Yeah. Beautifully timed. Yeah. Big risk to take, but yep, good stuff. Trying to get rid of that guard bar. See it flashing. But Boss you, trying to get away. You let her out of the corner. That's what I'm talking about. The neutral jump roundhouse. Really tough to challenge. Oh, sick. oh, what a smart play from Justin. She might have slightly bigger grab range because they both went for the neutral jump and he got it. This is gonna be a match to Such a dangerous character now from Boss. And he's very close to having a custom. If he gets a combo in his scissors right now, he's there. Oh. Right. Oh. Oh. oh! You thought it was a punish and Justin knew, uh, Boss knew that Justin didn't know. <laughs> That's the danger. It's just a risk to put the button out there, but it was one of those situations where you really can't tell. And Justin took a slight risk. Even in a two-frame startup normal, mm -hmm. you get uh, five frames of freeze with the custom activation, so it gives you plenty of time to confirm. Goes for the long combo to get himself extra meter. Exactly, yeah. Already halfway through that meter build. Good weight and bait from Justin. Yeah, it rolls in. Boss nice. right back in there now. He has the ability to end this. A little bit early on the activation. Justin doesn't bite. Rolling a throw. Slips one through. Ooh, he was waiting for yeah. the RC. Didn't come. Now these stutters are really getting in the boss's head. Yeah, he's throwing away the, the side go. He's forget about charge. He just tried to fight his way out, and it played right into Justin's hands. Boss with a huge advantage in the life bar, but don't count Justin out with three meters. Sagat is very threatening to block that he really works that guard bar very quickly, and it starts to become scary to throw out the RC oh. electricity. You don't oh, want to miss it. Is. Here Here's it is. the link. Will he save a meter? He does. He does. Goes for the meaty. Oh! oh! Great read from Justin. Boss in for the pressure now. He knows Justin's not going to be RCing stuff. He can't level jump. two in. Level he, two in. Oh no! He just let the level two go, and now Boss can jump. Oh, gets away. 
He got the meters. Chip coming in. Okay, slide does it. At not entirely a safe spot to do it, but no, that would it. that would not have been safe if blocked. Yeah. But he was right. So game one goes to boss. Nowadays, Justin is a SoCal boy, but I remember this when he was in this room 10 years ago, that was not the case. The crowd was not behind him. No. Nope. I was in that small little East Coast contingent feeling really bad. <laughs> really, really awful. <laughs> uh, sitting next to Flash G, the, uh, he was the East Coast third strike guy right. before Justin really took it upon himself. Right. And he was just sitting there just with his face in his hands. Yeah, that's that's part of why when Daigo had that parry, everybody goes so nuts. Because yeah. it's a SoCal crowd. We didn't want Justin to win. <laughs> I, you know, I never actually thought about it from that dimension. You guys. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, gets away in time. Nice punish. Frame trap at the stand roundhouse. Justin taking control. Finds a sweep. Slide indeed. He's looking a lot better well until right then. But you can see him chasing boss a lot. He backs off a little bit. Nice reaction. Nice. Combo is not reliable from Vega. Gets the roll through, but no punish. Oh, what? Look at the time now. Justin, can he make it? This is basically a draw game. It's just like, <laughs> oh, he got it. Was that RC from Justin? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was as well. But was that the fierce version, or did he accidentally get the jab version, trying to RC the fierce version? It was the fierce, wasn't it? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Hard to remember, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Justin does RC just just a little bit. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just a tad. Yeah. So he's staying away now. Does not want to let Bison activate. Uh, I probably well, wouldn't not, activate, not I guess. Activate. Yeah. But that. But earlier, as uh, Boss was jumping in, Justin wasn't challenging it at all. He's trying to run down the clock and yeah. see what he can get going. This battle is about to explode. I love how controllable that move is in this game. It's great. And he's trying to aim it just to. Uh, a little bit away, so the hand extends and it'll beat out the anti air. Wow, nice anti air. Yeah, that was really Justin. good. Mm. Yeah. Boss oh, trying to find anything. Justin is waiting for a roll or a roll cancel through. He's trying right. to stutter these strings. But he's getting his uh, guard meter worked out in the process. Boss is wise. Justin throwing a fireball sometimes. Actually, he hasn't been lately. Looks like he's trying to wait it out. Yeah, no fireball again. If he does it from the wrong range, he can go ahead and activate and then immediately scissors. When you're in Ooh. custom, uh, charge moves do not require the charge in this game. Right. Well, Justin's played it well. Boss has a huge comeback factor, of course, so he can still end it. He might go for the... No, he won't go for the custom. Ooh. Oh, he's happy about that. He would have been happy if that one had hit, actually. I think he would have just taken that level one. By the way, that punish was ridiculous. He got the jump roundhouse. and I mean, he didn't get the scissors part of it, but like that spacing was awesome. He tried to give him the Daigo. Like, that was, the that full, was too the full sick. Punish, the yeah. 37 punish. Oh, was that an actual whiff punish, or did he just get crossed up? That's ratio one bison. Look at that damage. Yep. Oh, it was level two blockable. Yeah. Yep. Level three would have been unblockable after the flash, and he was not crouch blocking. Yeah, if you're not crouching when level three starts, you are getting hit. But Justin hedges, saves himself one meter, and now he goes into this last round with 1.5. Definitely doable. Gotta watch those ankles, though. All the oh. tricks. Now Boss with all this screen to work with, he's gonna let Justin hang himself. I love the spacing he's keeping right now, okay. At great crouching fierce range, yes, perfect spot. Justin forced to maybe random roll at this point. Right, yeah, his options are getting pretty limited. And Boss is not giving Justin anything. 
you got to perfectly range the roll and then say, do I super or do I grab? Right. Nice. He's taking his time. I mean, you know, yeah, Justin's doing what he can do. If he gets one more good hit, he could kill him with the combo before Boss even gets the custom. I mean, if Justin gets a crouch of fierce right now, it's it's done. But we'll see. Yeah, oh, there it is. Snipes him. 2-0 boss. Yeah, the crouching fierce and is gonna be incredibly tough to land oh, against yeah. Blanca, particularly because he's gonna sit outside of the crouch fierce range with the crouch fierce with his crouch fierce and he's got that slide right. for your crouch fierce range and you'll lose to it every time so he's usually going to find like a jab jab combo his stand jabs are incredibly strong against Blanca if he can find his way in start working that guard bar it's a little bit scaled down of a combo but yeah I don't even know what the damage scaling is in this game <laughs> if any I'm sure there's some I'm sure there's some yeah. oh I might have had a trip guard opportunity there Okay, maybe chance for Justin now to come in, though. No. Oh, just a little bit misplaced. So Justin before has tried to get the cage going in the corner, but this time he's much more patient. So at this point, this neutral game has come down to these two players between just walk up, crouch strong, or walk up, round, crouch roundhouse, you know? And they're trying to just outrange one of these moves or make it whiff and then get the punish with the other. There's a sweet punish with the sweep. Okay, nice reaction, Justin. Ooh! Justin! Okay. Justin's waking up a little bit. Oh, that was a big opportunity there, but he went for an extra damage with the walk-in. And that spends so much time on the clock. Stand forward, kick to stop the slide. Yeah, that was perfectly placed. Oh, look at Justin's expression after that. <laughs> Hey, I know how to play this game. Look at what I just did. Stand, medium, kick, stop the slide. Right. I feel good about that going into the next round. One of the reasons I really like this game is that the neutral game is not just about one one button. It's not a one button footsies game. It's not even two button footsies game. Okay. Outside of the range, and that's a huge uh, whiff animation for going for a throw in this game. And it is, of course, bound to the fierce button. Boss was content to go ahead and use the meter early in that round to keep himself uh, stocked on a life bar. He got hit out of it, but the bright side is that he keeps 50% of his gauge if that happens in the first 50% of the custom. Yeah, he's already almost back there. Yep. Ooh, had one down jab, not the rest. See how cautiously Justin's playing right now. Does not want to take a risk that he'll get activated on. And Boss is just looking for these perfectly uh, ranged jump ins. They will be very tough for Chun Li, the anti air, if they're placed correctly, despite her being in a neutral position. Yeah, the, and okay, I was gonna say that's, that's true for the buttons, but especially true if he comes in with a well timed activation. Right, and that threat was there. Mm -hmm. well, it, it grants him the ability to jump in a little bit more because Justin doesn't want to swing. Exactly. The empty jump in. Too risky. Trying to keep him out. Now Boss has to make the decision. Do I want to go ahead and spend this custom? Or do I want to make Blanca try to fight Chun-Li? He really wanted to grab a little early. Look at the time now. 10 seconds left. He's got some clean hits, and though he doesn't have to use the custom. That is a great turn for Boss. It's all about just avoiding that Chun-Li fight with Blanca, as we saw before. Her with just a sliver of life was able to give uh, Blanca a lot of trouble. Gets away. Oh, nice. You know, he's looking for the uh, anti-trip guard there a lot. But Justin's going jump back, no button. The sweep would actually catch him, and he would be able to combo him a lot of times. It's a very smart play from Justin. So it's pretty even on life coming into this. Of course, yeah. this is tournament, tournament point right now for Boss. This is great for Justin, though. He can start uh, working in those random rolls into the stand jabs with impunity because he's got enough life to spend. And that's really Sagat's oh. best way in. But no, the RC, oh, he's really ramping it up on those fierces. Oh, he tried no. to get too many. He tried to get too oh. many. But oh. That was so good. Boss, Boss comes in now. Is this it? Yeah, he gets it. Boss good takes it. Games, ladies and gentlemen. D4 for Boss.
Dayoshi takes moment 37 reloaded and is anybody really surprised? I think he was the heavy favorite coming in. And that he makes good on that. I love that last round too, as far as like just an exhibition of what he can do. He said last night, he said, I wanna show cool things tomorrow. Yeah. He, yeah. he said I wanna show cool things. He didn't get much out of his uh, Akuma, so he stuck with his A groove. Right. But he showed us some cool stuff. For sure. And I was really happy to see him. I'm sure everybody else at home, people in the audience here too, is a big draw for people to come see Boss and play against Boss, test themselves. Hey, and everyone at home, uh, this is obviously the, the first of an event like this. 